tires too much at this point in time. If that is indeed, they may be looking at left sides while they're getting fuel. Yeah. Think how long they're going to be out there. Yeah, that's what I would be looking for. Trouble. Oh, gosh. Ryan Newman, hard into the wall. Michael McDowell, hard into the wall. Caution's out, caution's out. Terrible crash. That difficult spot between the exit of the carousel and turn six. You saw Newman try to do a drive, it looked like, for a second. And that rear tire just fell off, now dropping the window net. And that's Michael McDowell. Look at the damage and how hard he hit that guardrail. See the window net down now at 31. That's good to see. At 31 hit the safer barrier. That's the guardrail where the, the 95 did, but the 31. Reminiscent of Jeff Burton was driving his 31 car a few years ago. Destroyed the guardrail right there on the downward. Yeah, is that a tire up on the top? Yeah. Yeah, that is McDowell out of the car. And there you see Newman walking toward McDowell's car. So both drivers have come from the car. The field is being red flagged. And the race is being stopped. Looks like right here, it looks like part of the rear suspension. Just broke the rear end housing in half. There you see Michael getting up after catching his breath. Wow, what a great sight. Sure is. What a terrible crash. Another example of the safety of these cars that NASCAR and these teams put on the track today. Well, this part of the racetrack, you see the uh, funnel between the guardrails. And if someone gets out of control exiting that, uh, that carousel corner, it's not going to be good. We've seen this before. We just saw it again. Hey, look right over here. You see, like not Ryan Newman overran that corner just a little bit. You see quite a few cars over there. Come back on the track. Contact from Biffle and Newman. Yes, Biffle came back on the track. Newman was right there. Got into him and hard into that guardrail and the tires. Sends him back out in the middle of the track here into McDowell. You see the very end of housing. The loose ones are in the seat. That last impact from McDowell was going to probably knock the wind out of it. What a piece of driving by David Reagan sliding through there between those crashed cars. Coming right at you now. Regan Smith. Shot across the racetrack before the contact this first ride Newman made was significant. Back it down, back it down, back it down. Wish you did the job too. Nice job, I didn't know that. That wasn't much time to react at a high rate of speed by our there. Back down, back down, back down. 
Biffle kind of ran up the track, but made Newman try to avoid running into him. It's just hard to appreciate how much speed you're carrying out of that carousel until you see that happen. Yeah, yeah, you're well over, I would say, definitely 130 miles an hour. What a mess. Trouble began when Greg Biffle had troubles coming off that carousel corner, resulting in contact with Ryan Newman and Newman's car hard into the barrier, collecting Michael McDonald's. This, the view that we caught on Greg Biffle's radio. Greg Biffle's explanation to his team. Yeah, and there's no way that we're putting the blame on Greg Biffle for what happened by any means. They're racing hard off the corner.